Okay, so we're going to set up but not evaluate uh, using cylindrical shells and integral for the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by x squared minus y squared equals 7, uh, x equals 4, and about y equals to 5. Okay, so um, let me draw my axis here. Now, if you um, don't quite recognize x squared minus y squared equals to 7, uh, that's a hyperbola. But, but that's okay if you don't remember that. Um, you can simply uh, solve for y. So if you solve for y, notice that you get uh, 7 minus, or sorry, the square root of x squared minus 7, but you get the, this is important, um, plus the positive and the negative one. Okay, so um, if you do that, um, you'll notice somewhere around here at square root of 7, um, you have You have a function that kind of looks like this and then like that. Okay, and then we have uh, x equals to 4, which is just a vertical line. And um, I'm going to rotate this guy by y equals to 5. So let me put that down here. So let's say 5 is... Let's go a little lower. Okay, so let's say this is 5. And so uh, we're going to be rotating this guy. So let me draw the, the mirror image here. Um, so I'm going to have something that looks like that. Okay, now um, I'm going to use the method of cylindrical shells. So let me just draw a, um, a shell in here. So um, basically, let me draw it here. All right, so this, I'm assuming this is a, um, a cylindrical shell. And so that was, it's not very detailed, but um, that's okay. Now, the, the basics are that you're going to go to find the, the volume using cylindrical shells. You take the um, integral from 0 to the um, outside edge, which I'm just going to call b. And then um, it's uh, 2 pi times... Uh, the radius of the shell times the height of the shell. Now, um, in this case, notice that um, I am the shell is lying down. Um, so the radius and the height are functions of y. So I'm going to integrate in this case with respect to y. Okay, so now I need to try to figure out what's the radius of this shell. So from here to here, for example, what's what's the function that describes that radius? Okay. And then another thing to keep in mind as well is that um, I'm going to have to subtract the this is the shell that's on the outside, but then I'm going to have to subtract the shell that's formed by the um, inside. So see right here you've got another shell. Um, so to get the uh, volume of the, the region enclosed, 
then you're gonna have to subtract the outside minus the inside um, okay so let's work on the on the outside one first okay so I'm trying to find the um, length of this green line here an expression for it so notice that um, this green line is at whatever y is so here for example if I'm at this point um, the distance from here to here is y and so and the whole thing is 5 so that means that my radius is going to be 5 minus y because I'm looking for the distance from here to here so from here to here so the whole thing is 5 take away y you get 5 minus y now in this case for this big blue one uh, the height of this cylinder notice that it's always going to equal to 4 uh, because the height is uh, constant okay now um, then we're going to uh, subtract this uh, green um, shell now this green shell so I'm going to do the integral again from 0 to B we'll talk about um, what B is in a minute uh, but of 2 pi times uh, the radius is going to be exactly the same uh, 5 minus y but now the height of this guy is equal to now this uh, purple line which is going to be um, the x value right because from here to here is the distance from here to here is uh, x and so uh, we have to solve for x here so if you grab the original one and you solve for x um, you get that x is equal to the square root of uh, y squared plus 7 so this is times the height which is going to be uh, the square root of y squared plus 7 dy and now um, let's let's put in um, our B here Let me erase these guys okay so uh, remember these guys represent what uh, Y is going to go from and to now actually let me um, erase the bottom one here because normally it's by zero but here because we're um, off center a little bit um, it's going to actually be different so just remember that this guy is from the center to the outer edge now if you take a look at these guys notice that the first shell is going to be located right here at this value and then the last shell is going to be located right here at the last value so basically where they intersect but notice that you're not going to go from you're not going to go from the very bottom to the very top because remember that each shell collects the volume from both ends and so you only need to go from this point right here which is where these two intersect um, which we'll find in a minute um, let's do that over here so we want to know when does um, the uh, now we're talking about the y values so we want to know when does the square root of y squared so we want to know um, when does um, x squared minus y squared equal to uh, 7 when does this guy when x is equal to uh, 4 uh, what is y equal to so um, well that's easy uh, we get 16 minus y squared equals to 7 
Uh, so then we get that y is equal to plus or minus 3. And so these are the um, intersection points. And so then my um, interval is going to go from um, 3 to negative 3 and 3 to negative 3. So that's the outside minus the inside. And that's it. From negative 3 to 3, negative 3 to 3. And so if you, um, let me just put this together. Uh, this should equal to the integral, 2 pi times the integral, from negative 3 to 3 of uh, 5 minus y times, if I factor that 5 minus y out, 4 minus the square root of y squared plus 7 with respect to y. Um, so that's good. And then if you approximate that, you should get about uh, 163.02. Seven. And that's it.